guys, Spectre here, and welcome back to another episode of Ragecraft. And in the last episode, we were running around looking for a place to build this new build in. And guess what? I found it. And this is the farm that I've been making. I haven't done too many builds, just like a place for me to live and st Oh, the sun's going down. Also, if you heard the barking, I made two new friends. Uh, I haven't got any names for them yet, but I assume I'll name them soon. Soon. Hang on. So yeah, this is my house, and as you can see from the texture pack and everything, it is very... Uh, you would call it oriental, but I was going for a Chinese look. And I suppose I'll just say it straight off the bat now, that the... What I was planning to do was a Chinese city, and that is because the Lunar New Year is coming up. And like last year, I am living in the UK for a little bit, so I won't be able to go home for the Lunar New Year. Which is sad, I guess. Uh, what's this? Oh. It was- <gasps> Oh no, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, come back! Uh... I got no food for you, oh no. Sit, sit, okay. So, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory right now and we are gonna be moving stuff into the house, I guess. Uh, where's my axe? Yeah. So we need to build a proper crafting table and stuff. Actually, instead of a crafting table, I think I'll build a hut like a little tiny hut for all the storage stuff instead of putting it in my house so my house can be entirely you know for moi <laughs> i don't know why i said that uh, another thing if i seem a little i don't know out of sorts it's because it's quite early in the morning for me uh, I say quite, it's actually not that early, it's like 9.28 and I woke up at 8 because I had two weeks off and I knew I was going to mess up my sleep schedule so I was like no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up as early as possible I woke up at 7, fell back asleep and now I woke up again at 8 and I've been slowly trying to wake up since then okay, um, I think we don't want to put like the storage hut too near to everything else. Maybe just out of the way. Some normons and apples. So I guess we'll put it near the sheep pen. Sounds good. Yeah, because we are going to have some buildings over here and maybe something out here. You have no idea how long it took me to terraform that area for my house. But we're gonna build up here, have a little house here, and then yeah, we'll put the hut here. Uh, so we need some dirt to fill in the area, and I have plenty of dirt, so let's not waste time digging it up. So we're gonna put all our chests in this building, as well as our crafting stuff. Uh, should we have which direction should we have the hut facing? This way, I guess. We'll make it face this way, right? I wasted all that time. Um getting the quartz together, but in the end, in this texture pack, the quartz turns black, which is why I have this sheet pen here. But yeah, um, this year it's going to be the year of the monkey, which uh, I don't know, I don't quite know what that means to be honest, I'm, I don't really follow the meanings of these things very carefully, because to me I don't I'm, I may be superstitious, but not that much. Let's see... Uh, but some of you may know, some of you might not know, but there are 12 animals in the new year. As in 12 animals... I can't English. 12 zodiacs. Yeah, in the Chinese calendar. And I don't want to get rid of this tree, but it feels like I'm going to have to. We'll plant some more. And... 
I think the year, yeah, the year after that is going to be my year, which is the year of the rooster. So because there are 12 animals, it goes through like a 12 year cycle. So, uh, hmm, trying to see whether I can remember all 12 animals. Okay, we've got the monkey, obviously. And we have the... <clears throat> I need some torches. Oops, no. We have the monkey, the rats, the oxen, which is three, the dog, which is four, sheep, five... I'm not going to be doing anything, I'm standing here staring in the sun. Sheep, rabbit, rooster, pig. Oh gosh, I can't remember all of them. Oh, this is embarrassing, I can't remember all of them. Horse, yes. Dragon, of course. The dragon is always very important. Pig, you're insulting this man's grave. Um, yeah, I can't remember all the animals, which is kind of embarrassing. But yeah, each animal has like a different characteristic. And more often than not, people try and get kids in the dragon year because it's supposed to be good luck. But because of that, you have like an influx of children and then you end up having this thing where the amount of jobs given out and university seedings and school seedings given out are the same, but you just have more competitors in that year. Uh, so yeah, that I don't know why I brought that up, but I have friends in the dragon year who find it really difficult. Like, it's not enough to just succeed, you have to go above and beyond just just to get noticed in that year. So yeah, Dragon Year, not that great, really competitive. Uh, let's see now, what kind of roof should I do? That roof didn't work out for me, so this is a shed, so I think we'll do like a normal roof thing. Yeah, let's do a normal roof. I'm not the best at building stuff, so... You must excuse my poor building skills. And when I say must, I say you have no choice in the matter. And we need some fences. Do I still have some fences from my build? No, I don't. Oh yeah, another thing about the um, zodiac thing. It's like the western horoscope where some Zodiacs aren't supposed to get along with one another because there's a personality clash and things like that. So if you want, I can leave uh, some, maybe a link down below to a website that can uh, let you know what kind of animal zodiac you are. Why did I just do that with dirt? It's this texture pack, it's not my fault. But yeah. And they have descriptions of what the person is like and what they're going to be facing in the new year. Stuff like that. And I don't know, if you are into this kind of thing, then maybe you'd like to check it out. So I'll leave it down below. Go and check it out and let me know if you do what kind of, like what zodiac are you. <gasps> Hang on, another zodiac I just remembered. Tiger. Because... Tiger women are supposed to be really, really like aggressive and stuff like that. So, and I have a few in that year, few friends in that year who are like tiger babies. And it is the biggest lie in the world. Like they, they are the least aggressive people you'll ever meet. There is a story like on why because the zodiacs, they have their own sort of, what we call it, order that they are they come in for every year, and there is a story as to why they came in that order, and like all 
these kind of really old folklore. There's like a different version for every person. Not every person, but like I grew up listening to one version and my friends sort of have like a slightly different version from what I grew up with. So yeah, but this is the version that uh, I remember and it's that this part it will be always the same in any version that you listen to but there was I think the Jade Emperor I can't remember this is embarrassing but he basically had a race for the 12 animals and the mouse came out in first like it was to decide who would come first in the Lunar New Year and the mouse came first even though he is tiny because he apparently tricked the oxen into helping him um, and that is like there was one part of the race where they had to cross the river and while everyone was chilling out by the river like enjoying themselves getting distracted like the rabbit in the rabbit and the turtle story um, the mouse decided to keep going but unfortunately the water was too deep for it and he almost drowned and the oxen saw what was going on and quickly went in to save him and then that was when he realized that he got gypped like the mouse wasn't drowning at all he was just looking for a lift to the other side I'm so bad at storytelling, but yeah, that is basically the story that I remember being told as to what happened. The sheep are disagreeing with me. You can hear them. They're like, no. No. And I w okay, my wings aren't breaking anytime soon. I was terraforming that thing, and I was quite high up, and my wings broke, and I almost died. Like, it's... Look at my backpack. No, it's not my backpack. I think it's in the chest over there, but I have like, a bunch of wings ready made. Just in case. Oh, and maybe I should show you guys the garden as well. Uh, okay. We have the apple milk tea stuff down here. Cute little cherry tree, which is just a birch tree that's been retextured. I'll leave the texture pack in the description below if you guys want it. And a nice little wheat farm. And up here... We have carrots, potatoes, and mint because I found out that I found some mint leaves in one of the um, villages and if you combine the mint leaves with seeds, you get the mint crops. And down here we have, what is this? This is, pu this is supposedly pumpkin, okay, we're not going to judge, but this is pumpkin and we've got melons. So yeah, we got everything that we would possibly want and we're gonna get back to building oh and I found a bunch of these which you can turn into this which is really cool uh, right now in colleges the exam period is here but my my school is a bit different we don't have exams we just have submissions so this week we have two weeks off which is really nice because the tutors are going over everyone's um ow everyone's work so the college is still open for people who want to go in and do some work but we have no contact with the tutors at all so yeah this is just a strange day Ooh! oh my goodness guys 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 guess what uh, I got some Copic pens now and if you don't know what those are, they are some really really amazing drawing pens. Uh, they sell them in my school, in my college, uh, and usually they're pretty expensive but because my college sells them at regular price, uh, not regular price, but like at a price that is not too crazy. And also, this looks weird. Like, this looks super weird. 
uh, but also you get student discounts if you have a student card with you. So I got mine at a ridiculously low price, like they are legit Copic pens. And I tried them out and they're so good, like I did a stupid little sketch and coloured it in, but it was so nice to use, you guys have no idea. If you're, if you're into art, then check those Copic pens out, because a lot of the artists that I follow actually really use it, and I'm not digging this roof, we're bringing it down. We're going down, I'm yelling to me. No. Stop singing. But yeah, I was so excited about them yesterday. Uh, I didn't get any colors because I'm not good at working with colors. But I have- Ooh. Oh no. It broke. Oh no. But yeah, I got some grey tones and some flesh colors just in case. Should I go all out and get like a diamond? No, no, no. We're not gonna do that. One, two, three. Okay, I replaced the back with wool instead, and I guess that looks a little bit better. It doesn't look as dark up there, so we're gonna do that for everything. And also, I'm gonna be building some shops, and we need some villagers to man them, so if you feel... Um, so yeah, I'll be picking comments below, usernames from comments below, and turning them into villagers in this world. And also, let me know what kind of shops you guys want. Like, I know for sure I'm going to have like a food store with all the apple milk tea stuff and a tea shop and also a, <laughs> a liquor store. So yeah, let me know. And let me sleep! It's night time! It's night! There we go. While we're on the way down there, I'm gonna let you guys know what else we're gonna be doing. We're going to be having shops all along here, and up there we're going to build a temple, hopefully. I'm not very good at building temples, I don't really spend a lot of time in them. And I'm hoping we could maybe build a bridge. Oh, it just occurred to me, we need cows as well, because we want to make signs and stuff. Give me your wool. Also, um, next week there are going to be a few days where I won't be around. And that is because I will be in in um, London and then in Bath for I think it's just a three day trip. But yeah, just letting you guys know, uh, I will have content up during those days. But I just won't be around, and maybe I won't be able to get back to comments that quickly. But don't worry, I'll continue checking out comments and stuff. I always do. It's really fun. Okay, so admittedly, it's it's not great, but you know, what whatevs. Uh, we'll build this here, and maybe we'll have some fences going across the top, just as like a little added thing. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll make a few more sticks. Ooh, and also I got my deco bench here, so let's do a... Um, a little bit of decorating and then we'll call it an episode and next week we will start working on some shops which will be really cute why am I looking into this right where shall we put this let's get the red ones out and here here now that is quite nice I do like that Okay, we're gonna put some in my house as well. Let's see how my wings are going. Okay, they're good. Let's fly back. And let us put... Ooh, I don't... Do I want the red ones in the house? They're quite... We'll put them outside the house. Because... I don't know, I think... Red outside the house will look a little bit better. So... Red for prosperity. In case you guys were wondering. Like, maybe you guys never knew. But red is for prosperity. And we're gonna have some in the corners here, like so. These have... Okay, I don't know what word that is. Um, 
my Mandarin skills are non-existent. So, just letting you guys know. So yeah, we got some land. Okay, we can remove these because the lanterns give out light. Uh, I might put some chests here and put the lamps on it. Give me a second. Okay, so it's still a bit dark here. And we're gonna put down torches like this. And yeah, that is my house looking really nice. We're gonna decorate it some more in the next episode, I guess. Uh, maybe have a breakfast table here overlooking the cherry blossoms in the city. And maybe some wardrobe stuff here because I do need to change my clothes from time to time. And also, in the when the Lunar New Year starts, we need to get some new outfits. By outfits, I mean armor. Because... Yeah, it's just a thing. We always get new clothes. It's, you know, the normal thing. There is a story behind it. I'll look it up properly for you guys before the episode starts. But, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Hold up. Before you guys go check this out. Um, this is a really really cute pixel art that Melky did for me and I was supposed to show it off at the, fir at the very start of the episode but I kind of forgot. But here it is. It's adorable. I love it. Thank you so much for it. It's constantly sitting on my desktop so I can look at it whenever. But yeah. Okay, that's it. Bye!